How's it going everyone? Before we get to the video, I'd really appreciate it if you took the time to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a video. The channel is getting closer to 1000 every day and I'd appreciate it if you helped it get there. Thank you. But now onto the video, and today we're going to go over who I think the Laker team should take in the NBA draft. And if you didn't know, they do have their first round draft pick this year, as they couldn't trade back to back first round draft picks in the Anthony Davis trade. While they can't trade the actual draft pick, they could trade the player that they draft after he is officially part of the team. And while I wouldn't doubt if they do end up trading the player they take to package him in a deal, it also wouldn't surprise me to see them keep the player. The player they take wouldn't be pressured to produce right away and could develop slowly and be a productive player in a few years. And to properly select a player who might be a good fit for the team in a few years, we have to kind of predict what the team might look like in 2-3 to three years. Assuming Anthony Davis signs a long-term deal with the team, which is almost a guarantee, the team won't have a demanding need for a big man. LeBron will also likely be a productive player yet for the team, although he will be around 37 years old then and not be expected to carry as big of a load as he does now. Along with that, the team will either still have Kuzma or a player they trade Kuzma for, which we'll assume is likely a wing player. Other than that though, the only player who is under contract with the team through that time is Talon Horton Tucker. I'd like to think the team will also have Caruso as well, but nothing is guaranteed. With all that being said, the position that stands out to me as the biggest need in 2-3 years is a point guard. I believe this because although LeBron will hopefully be a productive player for the team yet, they won't be playing him 35 minutes a game anymore. A young, developed, up and coming point guard can be very valuable in prolonging LeBron's career and giving Anthony Davis another guy to get him the ball. And just like the title of the video suggests, I believe the team should draft Cassius Winston, who is a senior point guard from Michigan State. I believe he fits the mold of everything I talked about. He is a 6 foot 1 point guard who is a floor general and a crafty player. He averaged nearly 19 points a game and 7.5 and assists a game in his junior year. He could have declared for the draft last year and went in the first round, but he wanted to try one more time to get his team to the championship. One benefit to drafting a senior like him is that he would not take long to develop. I believe if the team drafted him, he could do fine in limited minutes as a backup point guard even in his rookie year in the NBA. He could get valuable experience playing limited minutes with LeBron AD in his first one or two years in the league, and then by his third year he could be ready to take on a bigger role. Like I mentioned before, he is a crafty player and is a true point guard. He is the all-time assist leader at Michigan State, where plenty of great point guards have come out of. Maybe you've heard of Magic Johnson before? So yeah, that's a pretty impressive accolade. He's also a great 3-point shooter, averaging 43% from 3 in his 4-year college career. 3-point shooting is a must in the NBA today, but especially while playing on a team with LeBron and Anthony Davis. And although he isn't a great defender or elite athlete, there are plenty of young point guards in the NBA who aren't either, who are doing just fine without it like Devontae Graham, Fred Van Vliet, and Trey Young. And if I had to make a comparison to any NBA player right now, it would probably be Fred Van Vliet. A player who is a bit undersized, not incredibly athletic, but very crafty and can be a very good shooter. Along with that, Winston is a bit taller than Van Vliet, and he has a good wingspan at 6'5", which helps make up a bit of ground against taller point guards. He won't likely ever be an elite NBA defender, but I do believe he has the ability to be an average to a good defender who you don't have to hide on defense, and also playing with Anthony Davis will help. Overall, I've always liked his game and I think he is a very realistic target for the team to draft as he's projected to go somewhere around the late first round to early second round in the NBA draft. I think he is being underrated because he's a senior who isn't an eye-popping athlete, but he has a very complete game and could contribute to an NBA team right away, and I believe he has the potential to develop even further as well. But anyways, what do you guys think about the team drafting Cassius Winston? Who else do you think the team should maybe take a look at instead? Let me know by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. Don't forget to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching the video.